Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. We're starting Module 3 today, Lesson 1. Positive and negative numbers on the number line, opposite direction, and value. So we have a classwork, exploratory challenge, where we're going to construct a number line. And I'm going to use a ruler to construct a nice, neat number line. So I'm bringing my ruler down here. So there's my ruler. I am now going to draw a straight line with the ruler. Okay, so there's my straight line. And now I'm going to just get rid of this here. So there's my straight line. Now if I use a compass, okay, so here's my compass, and I put it on the number line here, and let's draw line right here. That will be zero. Okay, so if I put my compass right there on zero, I'm going to change the color of my pen to red. And if I move this out, let's just set a distance right there, and I draw an arc like this, a circle, okay, that is a given distance. So at this point, I can now mark this here and call that one. This is zero. And then over here is negative one. So what we've really done here is drawn a circle with a center at zero. So the radius is a distance of one and a radius going this way since all radii are equal, if I drew a line this way up here, that would be a distance of one, okay? So all radius are equal. So this is a distance of one. So now I have one and negative one the exact same distance from zero. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue this process and I'm going to draw another circle here. And this time, I'll use red again. So if I draw an arc here, now, if I go back around, I should go right through zero. See that right there? So now that is exactly one unit this way, and this is exactly one unit. So I am now going to draw a mark here and put a two there. So in order to get the exact same mark, I'm now going to put this here and draw an arc around here. Actually, let's make that red. I did before. Okay, so there's my arc. Okay, so now this is negative 2. Okay, so now I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to put it right on 2 here. Let's stay where I put you. Right there. Change my color back to red. And if I draw an arc here, okay, it went through one, so that's the same distance here. And now I'm going to mark this as three. I'm going to move my compass over to here. This is really difficult to and try to be as precise as possible. Okay. And now I'm going to draw another arc around there. Okay. So now this is negative 3. So now I have all these arcs in the way, so now if I click on them and delete them, and finally, that. Okay, so here's our number line. So 
So our number line goes forever both directions. So I'll put arrows here to indicate that. And this is equal to this, is equal to this. They're all the same distance. So here's our number line. We've constructed a number line. Okay. Now what I want to make clear here though is that every number is the same distance from zero. So if I extend this out to, if I move, if I move this out to two, right here, and I draw an arc, that should go right through negative two. So that right there proves that the distance from zero to two is equal to the distance from zero to negative two. I'm going to put the compass back here at zero. This time I will extend this out to three. Bring that up here so I can extend it out to three. Now if I draw a circle at 3, okay, I'm off just a little bit here. So this value here should be moved because they all should be equal. So 3 is actually just a little bit more over this way. So if I erase that portion right there and just fix that, okay, then my negative three would be right here. We want to be the same distance. So this is this lesson is showing that a distance of one to the right and a distance of one to the left is the same distance just in different directions. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our number line, let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. So if I put a dot here and I said that that, that was A, then I can also put a dot over here and I can represent that as negative a. All that all we're saying is is the opposite of something is the same distance from zero up to the left if it's negative, to the right if it's positive. Okay, so let's look, take a look at some of these exercises. Okay, so it says complete the diagrams, count by ones to label the number line. We're going to start in the middle, which is here, and put a zero. And label this one, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. It works the same for vertical number lines, and I will put a zero here. Going up is positive. going down is negative. Okay. So we plotted our points on both number lines. Two says show and explain how to find the opposite of your number on both number lines. So let's pick the value three. So if I put a dot here at three, then I look and I say, okay, well three is three units to the right. Okay, and if I go the other direction, the same distance, negative three units to the left, then negative three is the same distance from zero as positive three. Okay, I can do the same over here. This time I will choose four. Okay, and I'll put a dot at four. Well, that means that this distance here, from here to here, is a distance of negative 4. Be careful, we went down from 0, so that's negative 4. Then if we go the other direction, start at 0, and we go this way to positive 4, then the distance from 0 to 4 is the same as the distance from 0 to negative. Three, mark the opposite on both number lines. I've already done that. Four, choose a group representative to place the opposite number on the class number lines. Okay. 
Okay, the rest of this exercise was done in class, and I'm not going to do the group work here. I just wanted to explain that a number line, positive and negative distances, are equivalent distances from zero. I'll move on to the next. Okay, and that was a really short lesson. So it just was representing positive and negative on a number line. Now go do your problems now.